motivation, leadership, trust. With a team full of women, Mark struggles to relate to his team. He decides to set personalized goals for each of his employees, as well as motivate his team members to reach those goals by offering rewards in the form of a monthly bonus. By doing this, Mark displays his reward power and budgeting control. Sarah Dent then decides to lead her team using referent power by getting to know each of these men personally, especially her new partner, James. Mark sits in his office and deliberates with the budget of how much he, he can, how much cash he can, cash incentives he can give to boost morale. Mark then meets with Mary, HR specialist, to discuss his plans with the cash incentives. Mark says, I see what you're hitting at, Mary, but I don't think it's fair to get something when I have employees that do what they're supposed to do. By coming in on time every day and doing a fantastic job to meet goals for the month, I don't think they should be rewarded. Mary then replies, I understand where you're coming from. I totally get it. Mark says, thanks, Mary. We'll take care of this later. Have a great day. Later on, Sarah is trying to get to know her employees as she brings James into the office for the first time in a while. Sarah says, what are your plans for the future? James replies with, are you meeting with the company or about us? Both, says Sarah, says Sarah. As for the company, I want to be in your chair one day, maybe standing right beside you. Either way, I, I would like to move up and fully establish my career here. Sarah then says, and us? James replies saying, I see you and I going far, but I don't want to ruin anything you've worked for and mess up my chance to move up in the company. How do you see us? Sarah says, I agree I agree with us going far, but I'm a little skeptical as to the conflict of interest this may cause. James replies saying, I totally agree, but I'm still not sure how we should go about. Colleagues are very suspicious after James walks out of the door from Sarah's office. Albert, an angel agent who sits closely to James, tries to ask him what's going on. Hey, James, what's going on? What's up, Albert? Do you and Sarah have something going on? No, why would you ask? It seems like you are always talking more than you should always should. There's always a time frame for me to talk to my boss? No, but, but what? Please don't come up to me with this. We are all grown-ups and professionals here. I'm sorry, James. I just wanted to know for sure because it'll be hard for us to work with this. Don't worry, Albert. It's not your business. Sarah gets a word of what happened on the floor and calls Albert and James into her office. Gentlemen, do we have an issue involving me on the floor? No, Sarah. I just asked James a simple question, but no issue here. Are you sure, Albert? James? I have nothing to say, Sarah. Albert then responds saying, yes, everything's okay. Sarah, please try to limit the conflict on the floor.